Hello everybody and welcome to Philly Death Row. In today's video we will be talking about the untold story and the very beginning of the O to the 4 story. Before we all knew about the West Philly set. Stay tuned and make sure you watch till the end. You don't want to miss not one sec in this video. Since the info is super valuable. With that being said. Let's jump straight into the video. Sixty second and Callow Hill and sixty fourth and Callow Hill has been going at it for years. It got real when allegedly sixty second street members gunned down a young guy named Slim from sixty fourth street who died on the corner of sixty third and Callow Hill. After an alleged shootout between both blocks in 2007, it was reported that two 64th and Callow Hill members named Terrell Johnson, also known as Hellrell, and another guy named Aleem Foster, also known as Lim, ended up confessing on that murder. Those actions led to no convictions. They was just being labeled as cooperators over those statements. It was a lot of back and forth shootings between 64th and Callow Hill and 62nd and Callow Hill, until 2012, when another young guy named Steph, from 64th and Callow Hill, was gunned down on 63rd and Callow Hill. Unfortunately 64th was getting terrorized by 62nd and Callow Hill, and again this time in 2016, another 64th member was gunned down on 63rd and Arch Street, after getting off the Market Street train station allegedly by another 62nd and Callow Hill member. In the 2012 murder of Steph, two 64th members named J. Dot and Elijah both told and made statements on a member from 62nd and Callow Hill named T.G., who terrorized 64th Street as well. It was reported that he confronted J. Dot and Elijah over a shooting that happened to a member from 62nd and Callow Hill named Johnny Doe. In 2011, those statements from Justin Brown, also known as J. Dot, and Elijah Fleming, also known as Lija, got the young guy named T.G., 15 to 30 years in prison in 2013, because T.G. was allegedly the person responsible for shooting J. Dot. It was reported that he also kidnapped, tortured, and robbed Lija over the 2011 shooting of Johnny Doe. Elijah and J. Dot are currently serving a life sentence for killing an innocent young boy who was just coming out of the corner store on 62nd and Callow Hill. Instead of doing their homework, they simply shot the innocent young guy just because he had a hoodie on and was walking out the enemy territory corner store. We also want to make it clear that the reason why they are both serving a life sentence over that shooting is due to one of their own 64th and Callow Hill members named Kareem Terry, testifying in exchange for immunity against his very own 64th and Callow Hill members, named J. Dot and Lija, getting them both a life sentence plus 30 years ironically by the infamous Judge Jenny Sprinkley, in 2014. She was the judge who sentenced rapper Meek Mill, to two to five years in jail for wheeling a dirt bike in 2019. Around this point of time, a few younger members from 64th and Callow Hill, and 62nd and Callow Hill, formed an alliance due to their similar beefs. With their rival members named 616, it may seem confusing that a few members from 62nd and Callow Hill, and a few members from 64th and Callow Hill, joined an alliance. Even though three members from 64th and Callow Hill were allegedly gunned down by 62nd and Callow Hill members, eventually naming their new alliance, O to the 4. O to the 4 only consists of a few members from 64th and Callow Hill. Some of the 62nd and Callow Hill members who teamed up with O to the 4 are also not originally from 62nd and Callow Hill. They rep it due to the popularity of the block a popularity known for getting money, and to put in wreck, making O to the 4 the younger members of this new dangerous era. 
from 2007 to now, 64th and Callowhill, also known as O to the 4, have lost 12 members, an equivalent to almost body every year. Things were looking so bad that allegedly O to the 4 teamed up and copped a plea agreement with 62nd and Callowhill. Because around this point of time O to the 4 were not known for getting active. Unlike 62nd and Callow Hill members, 616 members had allegedly gunned down Bro Bro in 2018. On 64th Street on the 300 block of Simpson Street, between Callow Hill and Vine Street, it was rumored that 616 members also gunned down an innocent kid the following year. On 64th and Callow Hill territory, on the 200 block of Simpson Street in 2019, they also shot an O to the 4 member on the corner of 64th and Vine. After the 64th and Callow Hill member walked outside of his house, fortunately he managed to survive more than 15 shots fired at him. A guy named Anwar, also known as Cali War, from 64 and Callow Hill was the person who copped the plea agreement with certain O to the four members, after meeting three of the 62nd and Callow Hill members in jail. Most of the new younger members don't really know the true history behind the 62nd and 64th and Callow Hill beef. So keep watching. And don't forget to leave your likes. Since it helps the channel tremendously. It was reported that another group from West Philly, named YBC was also taunting O to the 4. It took one of the members from 62nd and Callow Hill named Kells, also known as Kane, to take revenge on YBC members. It was reported that he took a YBC member shoes while in jail. Even though O to the 4 know some of their members who cooperated with the police, there's also proof of an O to the 4 member stating, we still love all our 64 members. No paperwork is going to stop that. This year of 2022, O to the 4, allegedly was heated over a video that was released by Johnny Doe in April of 2022, on YouTube called I Got It. The song is a remix of the slain Chicago rapper named L.A. Capone, which Johnny Doe, remade in his own words, while rapping in similar form to L.A. Capone showing love and support to the slain Chicago rapper who was killed on September 26, 2013, when he was walking out of a studio session in Chicago. It was reported that O to the four members started to troll Johnny Doe from multiple fake accounts. Johnny Doe followed that up by shooting two more videos, with one being directly on the 6200 block of Callow Hill Street that same year. The music videos were both released on YouTube called Etiquette and Mafia. This year of 2022, Johnny Doe who's not a part or affiliated with O to the 4 and no other gangs is still holding it down for the 6200 block of Callow Hill along with others members who remain low key but know the real deal with the real Callow Hill 62 as they used to call it.